Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today the 3rd of March, Holy Mother, the Church calls us to the memory of Saint Catherine Drexel. Saint Catherine Drexel is the second American born Catholic saint. This amazing woman was a heiress to a large property. Her father was a banker, very wealthy banker and prominent one, Francis Anthony Drexel and his wife Hannah Langsworth. The Drexels were financially and spiritually endowed. They were devout in practices of their faith, setting an excellent example of true Christian living for the daughters. They not only prayed but practiced their prayer. Catherine grew up seeing the father pray every evening at least for 30 minutes. The couple distributed food, clothing and even helped people with their rent in 1884 while the family was visiting the western states. Catherine saw firsthand the problems of the Native Americans and there she stayed with Father James who became her spiritual director as one of the first acts after the death of uh, the father of the house. Uh, they gave all the money they had, the daughters, uh, to St. Francis Mission of South Dakota. In 1887, while touring Europe, the Drexel sisters were given a private audience with Pope Leo XIII. They were seeking missionaries to help with the Indian missions. And the Pope looked at uh, Catherine and said, Why don't you become one? Catherine began her uh, six-month postulancy at Sisters of Mercy Convent in Pittsburgh in 1889. On February 12, 1891, Catherine was made her first vows as a religious and dedicated herself to working for the American Indians and African Americans. Taking the name Mother Catherine, she established a religious congregation known as the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament for Indians and Colored. From age of 33 till her death in 1955 at the age of 96 she she dedicated her complete life to the uh, african americans and native indians in 1915 she was the one who founded the first catholic university in the united states known as the xavier university by the time of her death, there were around 500 sisters teaching in 63 schools throughout the country. She established 50 missions for Native Americans in 16 different states. Mother Catherine died on March 3, 1955 at the age of 96. Catherine is always remembered for her love towards the Eucharist and a desire for the unity of all peoples. She was courageous and took up so many social causes like uh, the cause of social equality and the cause of minorities. She believed all should have access to quality education and her selfless service, including the donation of her inheritance, helped many reach the goal. St. Catherine was beatified on November 20, 1988 by Pope John Paul II and on October 1st, 2000, she was canonized by the same saint. Uh, Catherine is the patron of racial justice and the philo philanthropist. Uh, so a beautiful story about Catherine. She comes from a very rich family, her, her father being a banker. But the way in which she's lived her life, even her sisters and all, is really good. She thought about someone of whom no one thinks, the Native Americans, the slaves, the Red Indians, the Africans, the Negroes. About them she thought, about them she worked. And she dedicated her, all her life, all her property, all her wealth to, for them. Because she recognized the fact that all are created in the image and likeness of God. If I'm convinced of the truth, the truth will make me work. But if I am not convinced of the truth, dear brethren, then I will live as everyone without bringing meaning and passion to my life. So we pray today like Saint Catherine, we too may bring meaning to our life by understanding the truth, accepting the truth and living the truth. Amen.